Go big or go home. All right, Kennedy Elementary has an annual science fair every year in November, about the second or third week of November. And third, fourth, and fifth grade students, they spend about four to six weeks in their classroom learning about the scientific process. And then uh, they practice in their classroom a class sci science project and they learn about all the process of it and then it's a home project that they do at home. And students, it's a participation grade and if they don't do one at home, then they have to do one in class if they get a participation grade for it. We love the science fair. Why? Because we get we to get test to out different things. We get to test out science and all those kind of We get to learn more things. Yes. Well, they have to pass the fifth grade science a test. And that they have the star test they take it. So this is a good way, um, a practice for them in third grade and fourth grade and fifth grade. Uh, so they learn a lot of vocabulary, scientific and vo vocabulary that will be on that test. And um, it also just prepares them for secondary when they have to do reports and they have to start investigations. We're preparing them for junior high and high school and college. You know, this is the kind of the basic step for them. It's really fun. I like doing all the experiments. What was your experiment? Mine was what band of bubble gum makes the biggest bubble. And the bubble gum I had was uh, Big Week 2, Juicy Fruit, and Bubble Yum. What did you learn? I learned that none of the, it was actually none of I was only partially right in my hypothesis because it was. I thought that Big Week 2 would be the biggest bubble. But it was actually all of them except for Juicy Fruit because everybody did really good with the Big Week 2 and the Bubble Yum. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you all like about the science fair? I like experiencing things and learning how to build things. I like seeing all the science fair projects and how they're different and I like The projects are an awesome way for them to experience the real world. Um, it gives them a lot of vocabulary. It opens up their eyes to see how things work, um, to test you know, all the different things that we read about in books and see on star test questions. And they get to actually put it into um, motion. I mean, they get to actually use it, touch it, feel it, you know, build it. And uh, I think it's just an awesome, awesome experience. Every year, these projects have gotten more competitive. They've gotten bigger, they've gotten better. They've gotten uh, more intense, more um, critically evolved. Um, they're just, they're getting awesome. They really are. And uh, it doesn't matter what you get here, because last year we had a alternate winner, and when he got to the area fair, he got first place overall. So it's kind of like your ticket in the door. But overall, I think we can compete just as well as anybody. We always have outside judges for our science fair, and um, this year we had a Glennis Strauss from Conoco Phillips, and from Ashland Industries we had Isaac Olicorn and Sarah Oliver. And then from our uh, Corns County Extension, Extension Agency, we had Megan and Austin Dennison. And they were our judges from outside. They don't know any of the kids. And, um, and they, we have a school card that they go through and for points for different uh, parts of the scientific process. And um, so anyway, it, they do a great job and they spend about three hours here grading all of these science fair projects. My name is Steven. I won first place in third grade, and this is second, third, and fourth. Hi, my name is Ryder Hartsfield. I won first place in fourth grade. Uh, this is second, third, and fourth. Hello, I am Max Cantu. I won second place in fifth grade. This is first, third, and fourth. Representing Kennedy Elementary in the area of science fair. 